Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back out on the trail today with not one, but two WPLs. And yes, they are going to both be running on the same remote. So yeah, the Res 3 has a car switch option, which is awesome. You can bring out two trucks and one remote. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, both trucks are flashing now. If I turn on the remote and press bind, car one is now binded. If I hold down the two buttons, it's pretty tricky with one hand. If I hold down the two buttons for three seconds, it's switched over to car two. Awesome feature. So yeah, one remote controlling two cars and you can switch them on the fly. So both of these kits are the KM. We've got the C24-1 KM and the B24 KM. So yeah, both running the dual speed gearbox. Uh, we've got the wheel weights on board as well. And have chatting guys, let's hit the trail. I'm gonna click it down into first gear. And what I like about this, when I swap to car two, that will also then change into first gear. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Really nice, slow control at the Res 3. Got active descent control, so coming down the hills, holds really well. First gear has got more than enough torque to get you to where you need to go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the C24 at the top of the hill swap cars and do the same with a B24. Soft G1 kit tires. Plenty of weight there, plenty of traction being put down. And the 24-1 is up, easy peasy. Time to switch. Boom. Click straight in the first gear. The B24 has got a straight ladder style chassis. There's obviously the C24-1 has got uh, a C-frame. This is also leaf sprung. But yeah, still got the same gearbox, wheel weights, and uh, that Res 3 control. Ooh, struggling for traction there. <laughs> I think the B24 is a little bit more. There we go, just stuck in some loose stuff. And straight up goes the B24. Hey, right, switch back to car one. And I'm going to take the, uh, the tricky line across these routes here. Really, really love the control that you get out the Res 3. It is really hard to beat. It is on par with the Hobby Wing 1060, 1080. And uh, through the C24-1 goes. Switch to car two. You get the drift now, guys. But yeah, what is awesome about this is like, I'm having twice as much fun here, guys. I can bring up two trucks. No need to turn them on and off and you know, rebind them and stuck there on a route. There we go. It's just a simple case of holding those buttons and you're on to the next track. Onto the rocky riverbed and slippery slope. And yeah, it does look really tricky the other side, that slippery slope. Nice control, those wheel weights keeping those wheels planted, those tires on the floor, which is what we want. Don't want to be topping over all the time, do we? Line that up a bit better. Pretty tricky line the uh, the Rocky River bed is today. Not a problem at all though. The C24-1 KM. I'm going to try and get up to the first gear. See if those tyres grip and pull me up. If not, I can always click it into second and use wheel speed as my friend. But so far, just chugging on up. Okay, let's click him into second. And we're gonna use wheel speed as our friend here, guys. Okay, straight up. Let's see if the B24 can uh, match it. Here comes the B24. <laughs> a 
big old bus with a full shipment of WPL trucks on the back. <laughs> Honestly, the control is phenomenal. Ooh, if I didn't have wheel weights there, I would have been over. Approach angle is a little bit less than the C24, but nevertheless, we're through. Slow and steady. Let's see if we can get this big old truck up the slippery slope. I'm going to try and take the same line. Again, we're struggling. I'm going to click it into second gear. And we're going to use wheel speed as our friend. <laughs> Straight up, awesome. in first gear. <laughs> this is such an awesome feeling, it's so effortless. Just hold those two buttons <laughs> and we're now controlling the B24. WPL have knocked it out of the park with this, uh, this Res 3 system. Onto the tricky tree line now, we're going to get a bit technical now guys. This is going to be a good test. It's going to be showcasing that uh, active descent control as we come down the other side. And I've just noticed I've lost my snorkel cap. <laughs> Always glue these on guys, but uh, yeah, luckily you get one spare in the kit. Yeah, yeah, extremely steep decline here. And yeah, the Res 3 just controls it so, so well. I'm touching the throttles ever so slightly and it's holding my revs really, really nicely. Really nice brake as well, I let off, it holds. <laughs> this is extremely tricky departure. Can we get out? Oh, the control. And the C24-1 is out, amazing. Can the B24 follow? Big old bus steps up. <laughs> yeah, I haven't lost anything off this yet. Wing mirrors and whatnot, all intact because I glued them on. <laughs> but this is a big old bus to actually keep under control on the descent. So this is, yeah, this is really gonna show how well this Res 3 handles. It's pulling some amazing shapes with all that weight on board as well. Those leaf springs flexing nice. Like literally, this is a vertical drop off. And if you didn't have the control, you would literally just roll off the edge here. Oh wow, in real life now I would not be enjoying this. Oh, this is gripping, that's amazing. Oh! Departure angle, like I did say, is a little bit less. The front bumper's keeping us hooked up here. Ah, oh, never. Try and change our angle. Oh, that front bumper is not letting me come down. It is literally, oh, the control got me all the way to here. And I'm being held up by my front bumper. <laughs> I'll take that as a win though. One of my favorite lines now, up the, uh, the swamp bed. In the winter time, this is normally soaking wet, mucky, but yeah, it's nice and dry today. It's still a nice line to be had, nevertheless. Just tractoring through in first gear. KM has got a CB, uh, CBD style steering joint, so yeah, the steering angle has increased massively. Normally I've got to do a little three point turn to get around here, but we should make it around in one. Come on, in one. <laughs> I'm not turning back. <laughs> yes. It's creeping on up this hill. Extremely steep, and we're out. 
the big old bus's turn. Now it is pretty tricky to uh, get the steering maximised on these uh, the B series. The, uh, the top steering arm is a little bit long, but uh, yeah, you still get still get plenty of steering angle, a lot more than you would with the, the standard uh, ready to run or kit dog and bone setup. This thing looks awesome with a load on the back. Can we make it round in one as well? I don't think so. Let's bring him back. Let's see, I'm going up the hill. Just pulling some. What? That is just it almost feels vertical. And up goes B. <laughs> Here we are at the final tree line, guys. Reg was the channel. We'll know this line very well. Uh, just gonna do what the Res 3 does best here. Just take me through nice and slow and controlled. Wheel weights add into the flex there. <laughs> nice tire pop. Three point turn, bring him back through. That branch always. Always catches me, I always hit that branch, but yeah, not today. Oh, I took that terrible line there. <laughs> Bad driving on my part there, guys. But yeah, look at the control as it comes down the hills. Amazing. And the C24-1 is through. These two. Oh, it's been a pleasure on the trail today, guys. I am actually really impressed how well this concept of car switching actually works it is uh, yeah yeah it has made uh, the trail twice as much fun in my opinion big old bus is through <laughs> swing around i think i got a better line this time than the c24-1 yes it's lined up nicely but, but there you have it guys Two trucks, one remote, the Res 3, what an awesome piece of kit. And the KMs as well. C24-1 KM, B24 KM. Yeah, these, these guys actually perform really well. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.